Hi, I'm Brad Dean with the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce. And like each of you, we are very relieved at the most recent forecasts for Hurricane Irma that indicate that our area is likely not to see any significant impact. But while that's good news for us, we are keeping those who are impacted by Irma, all of our friends in the Caribbean, Florida, and neighboring states in our thoughts and prayers. Each time a storm approaches our area, the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce team readies itself so that we can be of service to the Grand Strand and its business community both before, during, and after a storm. Throughout this week, we have stayed in contact with our local, state, and national partners, and we have prepared our emergency readiness plan and will continue to do throughout the weekend in case the storm were to change. We will do all that we can to protect local businesses an approaching storm and when it arrives. Uh, we also have readied our post-event advertising plan that will be ready to restart the tourism engine once the storm is finally passed. We know that for many visitors, they're still concerned about whether or not they can get to the Grand Strand, and we will do everything we can to bring them back and get our businesses back up and running at full speed. Throughout this week and next week, we've been working with visitors and groups that have been displaced, helping them to find alternative accommodations or helping them uh, reschedule their events. And we will continue to do that as well. And of course, we will continue to keep you posted with all the information that we have. Uh, we are committed to serving you both before, during, and after the storm. And we will do everything we can to make sure that our economy gets back up to full speed as soon as Irma is passed. Rest assured, the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce will continue to promote, protect, and improve the Grand Strand, regardless of what Irma does.